for the sign of Aquarius hello and welcome to my channel what is the overall energy for the sign of Aquarius just remember the bottom cards are paired with the top cards and I'll be going through the past present challenge and outcome so in the recent past, we have the Four of Wands. Now, this card, it often indicates that you may have been attending a special event. One which would have been way more fun than you had anticipated. So you made sure to go out and have a great time. Business was more than likely to be going very well at this time. And you would have been proud of yourself and others were very proud of you too. Although this is a very positive card in a reading, it shows a need to keep your wits about yourself. Although you deserve and should treat yourself to fun, but remember that you are still in a building up phase and then was not the time to rest completely on your laurels so basically this card it also sometimes mean that you were moving your place of residence and we have this card paired with the ten of pentacles now the ten of pentacles it shows that you had a great deal to be thankful for at that time. Relationships of all kinds, finance, health, and all would have been going very well for you. You considered how you got to such a happy situation. You made the best of it and you were sure or you made sure to share whatever you had, even if it was just a kind word spoken to someone in need. You knew that you would get back what you gave out, and that was in the past. So we move on to the present, and we have the Two of Cups. Now, the Two of Cups, it often refers to romantic partnerships, but that's not its only connotation. It can speak of balance, friendship, joy, and sharing. So basically this is a card that says that things are more than likely to be going very well for you right now. This should or you should be feeling more than usually loved, cared for, and content. And we have the Two of Cups paired with the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles, it can be a card about boredom in some ways. So you may be tempted to say or do things to shake things up and people up just for a little fun and excitement. So... <laughs> What you need to do is rethink that impulse and find a better use of your energy. Excitement, it can be created. Now the Page of Pentacles is a great energy to support you when you have tedious work to get accomplished. Because this card, it, it will definitely give you focus, backbone, 
and the will and determination to stick with a task that's not necessarily glamorous or fun. So we have these two cards paired together. It's basically saying the two of cups. It's a good time for love, romance, friendship. It's speaking about balance. And you should be feeling especially loved at this time. And being that it's paired with a page of pinnacles, it's also about feeling more than usually loved and cared for. Well, being that it's paired, excuse me, let me repeat, let me retract that. Being that it's paired with the Page of Pentacles. Now, the Page of Pentacles was about being bored. The Two of Cups is about being loved. So, maybe, maybe you'll be feeling bored with all the loving energy that's coming your way. And you might try to shake things up just for a little fun. So... You might want to rethink that impulse and just embrace and enjoy all the love that's coming to you. And that's going to be your present. And we move on to the Two of Swords. Now the Two of Swords it tells us that your partnerships are more than likely to be going somewhat well, whether these are friendships, romantic, or business. But you should consider the depths of your commitment to equality in these and whether or not you're being treated as an equal by your partners. If you're not, it could be time to bring things back into balance. So, just remember that this will almost certainly require open communication on your part because nothing will change without effort. And we have the Two of Swords paired with the Emperor. Now the Emperor shows us that domination of the mind over the heart is sometimes necessary even though it's not wanted. So, this should be welcomed. And basically, that, that is what you must think when this card appears in a reading. Because when her choices have to be made, it's important to maintain your concentration and focus. Now this card, it also signals this, but it also could mean a time you should find it easier to make hard choices. So enjoy the assertiveness and confidence that this self-control and focus brings to you at this time. So forge, forge ahead and do what you know is best. If you can master yourself, well, if you can master yourself, then you should have very little problem mastering most of the obstacles that life throws at you. So with these two cards paired together, the Two of Swords, it's about partnerships going well. And just remember to communicate what needs to be talked about. Because it's paired with the Emperor, it may be a difficult time, or it should be an easier time to make hard choices. And... You should have little problem mastering most of the obstacles that life throws out at you because you're the emperor. And so the challenge would be to work 
with your partner with the two of swords because it's, it's going to need communication and because you're the emperor you which you should have no problem doing that at this time because of the uh, domination over the mind over the heart is necessary with the emperor and that's what you'll need to forge ahead and that will be your challenge and we move on to the four of pinnacles your outcome now the four of pinnacles can be a card about holding on to things people money or situations longer than it's healthy or realistic for you so when this card appears in a reading it's a sure sign that you must look carefully at what you are clinging on to and whether others are clinging on to you in an unhealthy way okay so just relax because this card it can point to an anxiety and fear about money and you could be clinging to whatever it is that makes you feel secure so the key here would be is to try to realize that being anxious and holding on too tight, it, it will not bring security. And that's what the Four of Pentacles paired with the Hanged Man. Now the Hanged Man, it generally or basically shows, if you take a look at the picture in this card, it's showing that you could be at a crossroads. Now the crossroads could be in or out, up or down, yes or no. So you may find yourself very much wanting to do something but have no idea what it is or how to do it. So just keep in mind that if that happens, that's a clear sign that you should stop, relax and look at different ways that you might need to let go of attempts to control life situations, people, and things. Just know or remember that it is possible that there is an outdated attitude or wish that you need to let go of, that you should let go of, because any sacrifice that you make it's going to open up your life to something even more positive than what you're letting go of or what you need to let go of. So overall, this should be a thoughtful, reflective time, particularly if you are willing to look at it or how you might best serve your own interests by being willing to change. So these two cards paired together, the Four of Pentacles, is just letting you know if you're holding on to situations, people, things, you're probably holding it on to things too tight in an unhealthy, non-realistic way. So that's with the Four of Pentacles. So you're clinging too tight to something. Uh, being that it's paired with a hangman, it's letting you know that you just need to relax and look at different ways to let go of attempts to control. So that's going to be your outcome. Okay? So... Aquarius I hope this resonated as you know general readings they don't always resonate with everyone then again if you like this reading please like subscribe leave a comment if that's what you'd like to do thank you so much for watching and have a great day, great day.